Welcome to a new episode of Azure Unblocked. Today, we're going to talk about the new Microsoft Partner Advanced Specializations for Hybrid Cloud. So here I am with Lior. He is uh, well of the well-known author uh, from the Azure Arc Jumpstart project. Uh, and obviously, I'm happy to have him here to talk about today's advanced specializations for our partners in the hybrid cloud um, arena. So welcome, Lior. How are you doing? Hey, Thomas. It's, uh, it's good to come back. Great to have you. Um, obviously, Microsoft is really a partner company, and we both know that. Um, I, I mean, I worked for a partner before, and you're working a lot with our partners. Um, can you tell us a little bit more, like how important partners are for the Microsoft um, ecosystem and how we actually work with them? Yeah. To put it like simply, just simply put it, it's without partners, we you know we can't we can't be successful. Uh, partners are the vessel that takes all our technologies to our customers. Obviously, we are investing a lot with our partners. We have a lot of programs, um, a lot of incentives. And honestly, it's super fun to work with partners because at the end of the day, they're also trying to be successful with our technology. So really, if you're thinking about the one Microsoft approach, I like the fact that we, uh, a lot of the time, extending that approach to our partners, bringing them along making sure that they are, you know, set for success. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I really like working with partners. It's 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 awesome. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree from experience. I mean, obviously, uh, a lot of the, the great feedback we also get are, is from our partners, right? So we learn always a lot when they bring back um, different information from different customers um, to us, and actually we can then go and improve the products. So, but what we're actually here to talk about is obviously the certification kind of like for partners. There are different um, ways a Microsoft partner can actually show off or show their skills um, basically for like all the, for customers and, and, and partners to actually see, hey, I actually have skills for that specific topic. Um, and there's also something called the advanced specialization. Um, can you talk a little bit about this? Yeah. Advanced specialization, if you're a Microsoft partner, advanced specialization is something that you want to strive for, right? Um, advanced specialization is really the gold standard when it comes to a specific solution area that the partner is specialized on, right? Um, if if we have a lot of solution areas like modern workspace, workspace, Azure, data and AI, right? Each one of those solution areas has its own advanced specializations, right? We have different uh, advanced specializations for different solutions, meaning that you can have advanced specializations for, uh, for example, for our data platforms. We have ones for Azure that are specific modern workspace, um, uh, which is a big topic these days, right, with hybrid, with hybrid work. But really, advanced specialization is a tailor-made certification that we are producing for our partners. This is basically a, a set of criteria that they need to go through or achieve in order for them to be on our partner network and have this goal competency when it comes to uh, making sure that customers are aware to their skill sets, their ability to deliver these solutions at the highest level with the deepest tech intensity that is possible. So really advanced specialization, like I said, it's the gold standard. It's really the pinnacle of what a partner can get when it comes to a specific area of, uh, of solution. Okay, no, this is great. And obviously this helps definitely also the customer as well as the partner to actually get recognized for their skills. Um, but why we have you today is actually, um, we have two exciting new ones for hybrid cloud. And obviously, since you're doing a lot of Azure Arc work, um, can you tell us a little bit more about how, like, what do we have? Like we have definitely one on Azure Arc and we have another one uh, for Azure Stack HCI. So can you tell us a little bit more about these uh, two uh, specializations? Correct. Um, and you know, let me let me show you, and we'll we'll talk about what are these advanced specialization. Why did we create those advanced advanced specializations? What was the motivation around it? Um, you know, if you're a partner in our previous um, Inspire event, our partner annual event, 
we announced two advanced specializations, like you mentioned, one for Azure Arc and operations and management with Azure Arc, and another one that goes around um, Azure Stack HCI. And those two advanced specializations really show the focus that we as Microsoft are taking when it comes to our hybrid approach and the hybrid cloud um, notion. So here I am in the advanced specialization homepage. If I'll scroll, uh, I'll scroll down a bit um, and we can see those two advanced specializations that we now have in the catalog. What I want to do with you is maybe show you some of the uh, uh, categories and criteria to become advanced specialized. We'll talk about the standards, the numbers around that, and really what is the motivation um, around that. So yeah, yeah. No, that would be definitely great because I'm sure like people are looking at it as now. How do I get this advanced specialization certification? Um, and so happy to have a quick look at that. Yeah. So, you know, Thomas, um, the Azure Arc Advanced Specialization is the first one that I want to talk about. That's the one that I'm showing on, on screen right now. And the Azure Arc Advanced Specialization is unique in the sense that we want to make sure that the partners that are targeting that advanced specializations are covering all our angles as of today, right? At least all the general availability uh, solutions that we have as part of the um, overarching Arc umbrella. The data services, the Arc-enabled servers, Arc-enabled Kubernetes, they are all part of that advanced specializations. And what we want is we want to make sure that these partners will acquire the right skill sets um, in order for them to actually go by to customers, deploy those services, and having those operations and processes, and really educate our customers around Azure Arc. Um, obviously, those partners need to meet certain criteria, which we're going to talk about. But the notion of having a partner that is dedicated for um, hybrid practice and specifically on this one, Azure Arc, is a very unique opportunity because of the uniqueness of Azure Arc and because it touches a lot of angles when it comes to our technology sets. Yeah, no, this is absolutely makes sense, especially like I was just thinking about like if I would be a customer and I'm looking for a partner to help me, I obviously like Azure is a huge field, right? And if I look just for an Azure partner, um, that that is great, but I actually want an Azure partner maybe for certain specializations, uh, and especially when it comes to hybrid now, I also want to know that the partner is actually skilled on this and, and knows, has people who can actually go out and implement this. And I think uh, it's absolutely a great thing to see for the customer that the partner can do this, as well as for the partner to actually show that he has the skill uh, or that they have the skill um, to actually provide this. Correct. And, you know, once the partner is achieving that advanced specialization, this is really the bragging rights. Uh, uh, you know, he will get into the partner directory, will have this goal competency. And honestly, along the way, they are achieving a lot of skills that they might never thought of uh, because now they're getting into this space. And I really like what you said about the fact that Azure is just huge, right? There is a lot of there is a lot of things in our portfolio. But as you are diving deeper into the hybrid space around um, Azure Arc and Stack HCI that we're going to talk about, you're discovering that hybrid by itself is a really interesting and unique space because it touches so many things and so many processes and terminologies and really th things that partners never thought of uh, when it comes to their current practices and how they are embedding the Azure Arc, for example, practice inside their current solutions. Um, so it's really interesting. Now, you know, if you're thinking about um, how do we measure, how do we make sure that these partners actually um, are eligible for this advanced specialization certification, we have a set of criteria, right? This set of criteria is usually um, assembled from a couple of categories. One is the Azure attached revenue or consumed revenue. And the second one is the Microsoft certifications that the partner uh, should have as part of him trying to achieve that advanced specializations. Right, and um, the performance sections is what you see here. Where what we want from our partners that are shooting for Azure Arc advanced specializations is for them to play in all areas of Azure Arc. Again, as of today, the GA services that are part of Azure Arc. So we have numbers around Azure Arc enabled servers. We have numbers around Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes and data services. And the last thing that I would say about this part is really that. Azure Arc is very unique in the sense of it touches um, 
what we call the attached services, right? Because as you are, and you know that as much as I do, as you are onboarding those servers, onboarding those Kubernetes clusters and deploying those data services, it opens um, a whole new world of Azure to these services, right? And if those services or those resources are, for example, on-premises services or resources, now um, the fact that you can attach those Azure services to those um, it's very interesting, and that's why that's that what the advanced specialization is touching on. Oh, this is great! Again, I I absolutely see that coming. Like you get like obviously when you have when you deploy a service in Azure, like it's like if it's a virtual machine or if it's a AKS cluster, um, you actually get all these benefits from our like let's say just from our management experience, right? From our security tools, all these 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 things we have there, and with Azure Arc, as you just mentioned, we can actually enhance. Kubernetes clusters and servers and and many other things which are even running outside of Azure and and actually showing that off and what you also just showed me like what I what I find interesting so to actually get that like um, that that uh, that that like uh, uh, advanced specialization I need to do a couple of things right there is also one thing as you just showed me like there's the knowledge thing so I always need to show uh, that I have trained people in Azure technology. Uh, but I also find it very interest, uh, interesting about the performance piece that uh, even though I've just trained people, I actually need to have something to show that I have done this before, right? It's not that like, okay, I could just train people and here we go. We did never do it. We never did it in uh, production environments with our customers. No, the partner actually needs to show that he actually worked with customers already on this. And God, that is kind of like, I feel like that is where the performance sections come in. Yeah, I think that you're touching a very important point because if you if a partner is looking at advanced specialization, what a partner needs to understand is that we want to show that level of uh, we want him to show that level of integrity that he was actually able to deploy our services with our customers at scale, showing that they are successful. And really, once you do that as a partner. The way to advance specialization is, is golden because customers are the key piece, right? You want to show that you are able to deploy this with customers and just be successful about that. So, yeah, you're right. That's a very important point. So what else do I need to do? Like, so we talked about performance. Uh, we talked about knowledge, obviously, right. where, um, where we actually need to have like, uh, like individuals certified in Azure technologies. Um, is there something else uh, on that list? Yeah, every advanced specialization um, has multiple components. And in the knowledge component of our certification, you need your people, you as a partner, you need your architects, your consultants, right? System engineers, you want them, you want them to be certified on Azure, right? And currently what we what we're asking from, from our partners when it comes to the Azure Arc uh, advanced specialization is the certifications that you're seeing on screen. So if you're familiar with the Azure world, this certification will not be um, anything new to you. Um, and most likely you as an Azure partner, you already have multiple uh, people that are already certified um, um, on the Azure platform. And I know that you've been doing a lot of work when it comes to the certification. So I really like how this, you know, really connecting the dots here. I think this is really also, again, great point. Absolutely. I mean, this is like kind of like we do the specific specializations for partners uh, where we actually like train or make sure that the partners are trained. The certifications also show that the individuals actually are trained and you have certain skills to actually work with Azure and actually show, okay, what, what you can do. So absolutely great thing to, to see. And it's also great that like, it's not something you probably need to go out and do already. So if you're already a partner, which has like um, Azure uh, administrators and Azure solution architects or Azure DevOps engineers, um, they have already that certification. They need to not go out and now take another exam. Um, they actually just need to show like, okay, how, how can I work with Azure Arc in, in terms of like creating that consumption? Exactly, exactly. So there's also another one um, I want to quickly have a look at. We talked about the Azure Arc one and maybe we come back to that later. But um, the other one I want to talk about is actually also an interesting piece is the Azure Stack HCI, which HCI stands for Hyperconverged Infrastructure. And it's part of, a, well, one of our latest additions basically to the Azure Stack portfolio. Um, so can you talk a little bit about more about that one too? Yes, of course. So 
you know, our our mission when it comes to hybrid cloud in Azure and in Microsoft is to um, understand how customers are using their environments and how do we bring those environments and connecting those into Azure, not just from a network connectivity point of view, but also from how they are designing their applications, what are their edge cases, and really how do we bring Azure to them if, if, if they need to. And a lot of these customers, when it comes to Azure Stack, and if you're familiar with the Azure Stack world, right, and I know you are, but for our, you know, for our viewers, if you're not familiar with the Azure Stack world, it's really about bringing Azure to you, right? Some customers um, cannot deploy their applications in our own data centers, and they actually need their hardware close to them in their own data centers, and uh, even if it's, you know, something that is mobile. Right, so they need that close to them, and this is where Azure Stack HCI, specifically with this advanced specialization, comes into place. What we wanted to do with this advanced specialization is to make sure that our partners that are in this Azure Stack space also now will start working on Azure Stack HCI and bring that hyper-converge motion into their customers, and by doing so, start working with, uh, with us on getting these advanced specializations. It's really about modernizing your own data center by using Azure technologies uh, like Azure Stack HCI in this case. No, I, again, I, I, I absolutely love the Azure Stack portfolio, and especially with Azure Stack HCI and Azure Arc combined, and we can talk about that in just a bit, but um, it really offers up, like for customers who need infrastructure, in their own data center, but they also need like Azure services and they want to have that Azure management control plane, like combining all this together uh, is definitely a super interesting piece. Now, you show me what you need to do for Azure Arc um, to get that. What what do I need to, what does a partner need to do um, yeah. to be get that specialization? So the same as Azure Arc, you have those components, right? You have the uh, competency, you have performance knowledge and the audit. and on the performance section, as you can see, we have these ACR requirements that are in front of you, and those numbers are very much achievable. We'll, um, you know, I'm sure we, we can talk about that, but uh, really that advanced specialization and the numbers that you're seeing here, again, we want to show, we want to see that the partners are bringing those customers, having that HCI deployed, running production workloads, generating that, you know, that that those workloads in a way that is really truly hybrid, right? Um, you're deploying your application on an Azure Stack environment, but it's outside of Azure. And that's really what we're asking our partners when it comes to this advanced specialization. And on the knowledge piece, again, same certifications. And like we said, if you are already an Azure partner, most likely you already have people that I trained and certified uh, with this type of certifications. No, this is great. And uh, yeah, I see it's like basically the same certifications uh, as I had before. So I could even be like for both of them. I don't need now, like this needs three. The other one needed five people. Uh, right. This can be still the same five people, right? Uh, it doesn't like it's, it's it's not need to be now eight people or something because we also have smaller partners, which obviously um, uh, do not have like hundreds of people, but they have the skills. Um, and so they, they can, can achieve that too. Now, right. one thing which is really interesting and you quickly mentioned that is these numbers in terms of ACR, Azure uh, consumed revenue, um, they're not, they don't seem to be so high. Like they like usually like when I compare this to others and um, the numbers are way higher. Can you explain a little bit about like, why is that? And um, yeah. also maybe a little bit, what is that number actually mean? Is this like, this is not something the partner needs to consume, right? This is something the customer needs to consume. And do I need to have like, especially also for the ARC one, do I need to have like one customers or can this be multiple customers? Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. And I think it's a good observation. Like the numbers are uh, are actually pretty low. Um, um, and there is a reason behind that. And first of all, I want to answer your question around, is it the partner that's supposed to generate those numbers or the customers? Well, these are the customers that's supposed to generate those numbers, right? The partner is really the vessel to bring our technologies um, into the customer. And by doing so, he will eventually be advanced specialized as long as he's meeting those criteria. So um, I'll go back to the Azure Arc for a second to talk about the numbers that uh, that we saw. And really what we want to see is we want to see these numbers um, of ACR. And ACR is Azure Consumed Revenue. By deploying Azure Arc enabled servers, Kubernetes, data services, you are starting to spin the meters, right? These are Azure services that a customer will 
pay for. And the numbers that you're seeing right here, the reason that they're so low is because Azure Arc um, is what we call an emerging technology. It's a new prospect or a new set of technologies that are inside our hardy portfolio and why the reason that we had uh, uh, the, that we designed that advanced specialization with these numbers is because we really want to penetrate uh, the market when it comes to Azure Arc and the fact that this is very much achievable if you look at these numbers um, and if you're already familiar with Azure Arc you know that these numbers are you know, one step away. It's not that big of a deal. And honestly, if you're a partner, this is a good time to take advantage of the fact that these are very much low numbers because it will bring you to that pinnacle certification that I was referring to or that bragging rights situation that I was referring to before um, and having that advanced specialization. So these are the numbers for um, Azure Arc that you're seeing right here and the motivation around that. And the same goes for Azure Stack HCI. Azure Stack HCI is a new product inside our hybrid portfolio. And again, for partners that are already familiar with the stock world, partners that already deploy uh, Stack Hub um, and, Stack, and Stack Edge, they're already familiar with the concept, right? And how to approach customers. So the $500 ACR that you're seeing here is really a low number because all you need to do is deploy Azure Stack HCI. That you know, hyper-converged infrastructure is starting to generate that consume revenue. And from that point, you're starting to get the ball rolling towards the advanced specialization certification. So that's the motivation around it. It's really about an emerging technology and the fact that we think this is the right bar to enter with. Yeah, no, I, I agree completely with that. I mean, it's a number where uh, it's not too low that like that everyone can do it, but it's also not so high that like it's like super just you need to have like super huge customers to do it. It really, I think it's a good metric to partners like actually, hey, I have the skills. I work with my customers. I proved I did this. And I with that, I earned the specialization um, uh, uh for that um so this this is absolutely fantastic and again if i would be partner i would definitely have a look out because especially as you said also with the with the knowledge piece most likely i already have people with these certifications so that is awesome yeah. so one thing i want to talk about by the way um while we are having you here and maybe this is also a, a good chance for another video but um it's interesting that we now have this azure stack hci and this azure arc um advanced specialization at one point, because it's also interesting how these work, how these two services or products work together. So maybe you can also like uh, talk a little bit about that. What is your experience talking with partners and customers about bringing these even together um, for different solutions? Yeah, uh, again, it's another great observation because um, Azure Stack HCI really complement Azure Arc um, and Azure Arc really complements Azure Stack HCI. When you're deploying Azure Stack HCI environment, you already have Azure Arc capabilities embedded inside of it, right? So if you are taking this from the angle of, I'm a partner, now I'm going by and deploying Azure Stack HCI environment inside my customer data center, you already getting some Azure Arc capabilities and really this is the gateway for the second certification, um, which is dedicated for Azure Arc. So those two are complementing one another. If you are focusing, if you're a partner that is focusing on Azure Arc and you want to start looking at Azure Stack HCI, you will find out that a lot of the use cases that we're seeing when it comes to Azure Arc is really about those data sovereignty, um, especially with regards to data services, is really about those data sovereignties and the fact that uh, customers cannot go outside of their data center and really cannot deploy their application inside our own Azure data centers. So that presents an opportunity for an HCI environment and architecture and design, because really that's what this solution is all about. So that's why, uh, uh, that's why I said that those two are complementing one another in certain situations. Yeah, I could have, I could not have said it better. So absolutely, uh, completely agreeing with that. Um, so. One last thing I want to ask you about is like, okay, we have now these two new advanced specializations for our partners. Does that kind of like show uh, the commitment we are having in these hybrid cloud partners and the investment they're doing? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Azure was built with hybrid in mind, but before Azure Arc and really before Azure Stack HCI, the conversation that we used to have with customers was really around the physical layer of hybrid technologies or a hybrid architecture 
oriented solution, right? Because we had uh, Azure Stack um, Hub and Edge, um, and really that was what we were focusing on. The Azure Arc portfolio and the set of technologies and HCI opening an all different world of possibilities when it comes to hybrid architectures. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is because that showed the level of investment and commitment. Again, if you're already familiar with Azure Arc and you already started uh, to look at Azure Stack HCI, you understand the innovation around these solutions and the fact that this is really the North Star when it comes to higher, when it comes to our hybrid story. And this is why it's super important to understand that you know it's not just the partners that are looking at this; it's also we as Microsoft. We are investing so much in these technologies that is just amazing. And I really want to see our partners and customers, you know, joining that, uh, joining that train and and having some fun with us. Yeah, no, I agree. And I mean, it's it absolutely hybrid and multi-cloud is really critical to most of our customers out there. Um, and so it absolutely is a great, great initiative. Um, so with that, I definitely want to say thank you, Lior. But before that, <laughs> I also want to quickly point out where do actually partners go now if they're interested um, in this and you showed these documents, where can they find these uh, PDF documents? Yeah, so the best way or the only way to get these PDF documents is to go into the partner network homepage. This is open for all. You don't have to be a partner to download those PDFs. Um, and if you'll go to the uh, kind of in the middle of the list of Azure Advanced Specialization Certification, you will find uh, the Stack HCI and Azure Arc certification. Once you click those, you will get the same PDFs that I showed. Awesome. Thank you very much, Lior. It was great having you. And for everyone watching, thanks for watching. And I hope you to see you in the next one. Wait, now when everything is recorded. Um, OK, you. awesome. Good that I'm here. and. Uh, Welcome to another episode of Azure Unblocked. And today we're going to talk about the new Microsoft Partner Advanced Specification. Specification. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Azure Unblocked. And today we're going to talk about the new. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Azure Unblocked. Today, we're going to talk about the new Microsoft Partner Advanced Specifications um, for Hybrid Cloud. No, not good. Specializations. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait.